Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, this is our narrator for today's story. Sit back and relax and enjoy the content. For those that think they can't move on and recover, there is life after infidelity. Hey guys, this is my first ever post so bear with me if I don't have everything down correctly. Years ago, I was best friends with this girl, C is her first initial. We knew each other since we were kids her family and mine all knew one another, and were close the kind that finish each other's sentences. She and I were always there for each other, I helped her through some crazy stuff, her mom had a health scare but everything was okay and she got me through a bad breakup. She and I had some attraction to each other growing up, but we never acted on it, afraid that something could go wrong and ruin our friendship. Even though she was insanely beautiful than her and her mom and sisters, I kept everything purely platonic. But I would often notice some of her boyfriends she had were a lot like me and she would always fight with them about comparing me to them. I always felt responsible for these breakups and told her after her last relation that maybe we needed to spend more time away from one another so she could figure out what she wanted. She texted me the next day saying she wanted to talk at her house, I got nervous because I didn't know what to expect. She sat me down in her living room and told me everything, like, that she was in love with me and wanted more than just being friends. At first, I thought it was a joke because when this happened it was on April's Fools, but then she kissed me and I was hooked. I kept thinking how dumb I was constantly avoiding this chance that I had with her, little did I know, things with us were perfect. I literally felt like a king that found his queen, our families were ecstatic in full pre-wedding mode, even though we were by now first starting college. Her dad said to me with a grin on his face about time, I was wondering what was taking so long. We did everything together, had a lot of good times and bad time as well, but we always faced them and never hid anything from each other. Yep, she was really looking like the love of my life material and constantly told me how she would love me forever, I was on clouds. Until I noticed in later months, that she and my younger cousin male 18 years old were hanging out a lot recently. My cousin wasn't exactly the most responsible person in the world, his dad left him when he was eight, but I always looked out for him and considered him a little brother. I noticed he would, at times, look at my girl the way dudes look at any girl they're on the hunt for. So I calmly asked him what's going on, and he would sheepishly say nothing and walk away. I didn't pay any attention to it at the time. One night when she and I were chilling in my dorm watching a movie, she randomly said please don't ever leave me, in a sad voice. I told her that would never happen, but all she did was give me a sad smile. After that thing started taking a turn, she grew distant and kept withdrawing from me, even when we had S3X, as much as we loved it. It felt like it was becoming a routine to keep me happy instead of keeping us happy. This went on for about 5 months, then by Valentine's Day, she was back to normal, all loving fun and full attention. I even bought her a diamond necklace with my money I saved up, and it was a good day, which makes what happened all the more bitter. I had plans that I was gonna propose to her that night, but I had forgotten to get the ring from my dorm. After I dropped her off, I went back to my car and checked to see if it was there before I drove away to my dorm, and sure enough, it was there. I mistakenly dropped it under the seat as I was getting ready to go back in to surprise her, I saw my cousin drive by and park right in front of her house. My car was in the shadows so he didn't see me, but he went to the door, she opened it and they were talking. He kept trying to kiss her and she feebly told him no, but then they were in full makeout mode. She took him by the hand and they went inside, didn't even bother closing the door fully. I was livid, I actually started breathing hard and felt heavy like I was going to pass out. I couldn't believe what I just saw, my heart was telling me to wait before I did anything crazy, but my brain said finish this. I got out and ran to the door, quietly going inside the house. When I went in, I hear her in the living room, moaning wildly and in grunting. I was seeing red. But I stayed in control, I took out my phone, hit record, quietly walked to a corner of the living room, and saw what I can never unsee. Her riding him, bouncing like some damn banshee, once I had enough proof, I called out to her and they both freaked out. She jumped right off of him and they just looked at me speechless. Then she went into sobbing mode, claiming I can explain please don't hate us. My cousin was pale knowing I could easily beat him into oblivion, but I didn't stay around, I showed her the ring, told her you threw this away and left. I got what I needed and just left them as they chased after me putting on their clothes trying to bullshit their way out of getting caught. Then came the insane text things like I'm sorry, please talk to me, it's not what you think, you don't know his story, it just happened one time. He was being a good friend, he was helping me and I couldn't tell you. Don't break us, we can fix this, you're being petty and immature and you are my favorite. It didn't even last long to finish, she tried to shift blame onto me when I didn't respond. But that all went to SHT for her when I exposed her and the fallout was a nuclear mess. Her sisters, except for the youngest, tried to blame me for all of it and tricked me into taking her back, but I wasn't having it. Then they told me it was going on for 5 months, around that time I noticed them getting close, she basically kept sleeping with both of us, no protection from him. 
I knew right there I was done with her, they were barely clothed when I busted them, her and only her bra and him and only his damn socks. It was like watching prawn and only in real time, and me as an unwilling audience. The sounds and things she did with him in that moment, I though only I could get her excited like that. She claimed she always loved my body, I work out a good amount but seeing her bouncing on his bony, I have to admit it made me feel insecure. For a time, there was no reconciliation there, all I could think as I'm driving away from them was what did I do wrong. I gave her everything and got rewarded with her backstabbing. When we were dating, she was on birth control except for one time. I usually wrap up, I was glad I did, since my prick cousin went raw on her and probably finished inside her. I never yelled at her, never mistreated or ignored her. If she was happy, I was happy knowing she was happy. We knew each other our whole lives and I foolishly thought she was the one. One time we went to a tarot card reading at the mall, and the lady there told me that a great love would find me, I told her she already did, and referring to C but she gave my girl a funny look. That should have been one of the red flags right there, not a day goes by when I'm not thankful I caught her. I would have married her not knowing the kind of person she really was. The aftermath, as I mentioned was cataclysmic after I nuked them, both her parents kept blowing up my phone demanding to know what happened. So I basically told them what happened, her mom dropped to the floor and her father just kept apologizing to me, saying I didn't deserve this. Sides were made in this and a lot of friendships were broken on both of our families. Her two sisters, the youngest didn't know the full story at the time, along with our circle of friends kept attacking my phone with texts saying I needed to talk to her. And the oldest wanted me to take her back, even coming up with some bullshit excuse about a mental defect. Then they told me everything about how and when it happened. Those five months she would tell me that she was making up some overtime at her work and how her co-workers would cover for her and how nervous he got seeing me when I went to see him in my aunt's place. I was a trusting fool that always wants to see the best in people and I got burned for it. She kept calling me constantly, in her voicemails her voice always sounded tired and strained from her crying and saying that I shouldn't do this. She felt like a part of her died when I left and begged to speak to me, claiming that I swore I'd never leave her. I couldn't allow myself to hear her anymore, so I blocked her, I never responded to any of her messages. My cousin tried a few times to reach me but I ignored him too. I never forgot the smug smile he threw when I saw him in my rear view window as I drove off. I knew if I saw him and I would want to hurt him and I could easily do it and he knew this, but no jail time is worth my freedom. My aunt told me that he felt guilty, yeah right, and told me that he did what he did because he wanted to know what it was like to be me. I was done after that, I went no contact with both of them, moved away and never looked back. I was 22 at the time, she was 20 and he was 18. The first year was tough, I was never cheated on before and it really messed with my head, but I had plenty of friends to help me out and my mom and dad were a great support system. My buddies actually took me on a trip with them to France to help clear my head, it was the best thing to happen to me seeing the Eiffel Tower eating some Madeleines. And learning some French really helped boost my confidence up, and getting to sketch some French girls nudie really gave me that extra boost. Thumbs up. Now I'm a 27 years old graphic designer making good money, enjoying my life on some dates, but nothing concrete. Then a few months ago, one of the last people I expected contacted me, my ex's youngest sister, said she got my new number from my parents and wanted to catch up with me. I was always cool with her so we started texting and catching up, she and I really clicked it, felt new and exciting with her. Last time, I saw her she was a cute skinny kid with braces but when she sent me a pic of her now, my jaw dropped. She was out of the world, stunning. The ladies in her family were always gorgeous but puberty took its time on her. We recently met up and she hugged me so tight I honestly didn't want to let her go. We started hanging out a lot and she told me a little info about what happened after I left. Apparently, my cousin did knocked up seed that night, they decided to try something for the baby but he cheated on her and then she cheated on him. Things really went south for them when she gave the baby up for adoption, after that she moved to laugh. Don't know or care what happened to my cousin, she said she never forgave her sister for hurting me and said that she used to have fantasies of me and her playing house. She had a crush on me and said that she always thought about me and I was the perfect guy that her sister didn't deserve. I told her I like her too and would like to start dating her if she'd have me. So that's where I am right now, good job, good life, and I'm falling in love again. And I'm happy I learned a lot from my experiences and want to share my inputs. When I see posts put up to let people know there is life after infidelity. To remind people it's never too late to start over and more importantly never settle for second best. It worked for me and it can work for them again. I'm sorry for how long it is if you're still here, thanks for hearing me out. Thank you guys for listening to today's story, share your thoughts in comment section below. I hope you have a great day ahead, take care, bye for now.